Hello and welcome to the Topic Master Series presented by Edu Kingdom College. In this video, we'll be looking at highest common factor and lowest common multiple. First of all, what is a factor? Factors are numbers that can be used to divide the bigger number with no remainder. For example, what are the factors of 36? The factors of 36 will be numbers that times together to make 36. So we have 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6. So the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Numbers that times together to make 36 are factor pairs. So 1 and 36 will be a factor pair, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, etc, etc. Now, why do we need to know what a highest common factor is? Highest common factors, HCF for short, is used for simplifying fractions. We're going to go through how to use them later on, but how do we find the highest common factor first? First, we have to list all the factors for the given numbers. Second, deduce the common factor. Lastly, determine the highest common factor. What is the highest common factor of 16 and 14? First, we list out all the factors. 16 has factors 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And 40 has factors 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 14. Then, we can see the common factors are going to be 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the largest number is going to be the highest common factor. So, the HCF is going to be 8. Example number 2. What is the HCF of 8 and 41? The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and the factors of 41 is just 1 and 41. So the highest common factor is going to be 1. Keep in mind that all numbers will have at least one common factor, 1. Now, from after we have learnt what highest common factors are, let's have a look at multiples. What is a multiple? Multiple are numbers which are multiplied by another number to get a specific numbers. What does that actually mean? Let's have a look at an example. What is the first 10 multiples of 6? Multiples are the results of the times tables. So 1 times 6 gives 6, 2 times 6 gives 12, 3 times 6 gives 18, and so on. The first 10 multiples of 6 is going to be the first 10 results of the 6 times table. Therefore, the first 10 multiples are going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, and 54, and 60. All numbers have an infinite amount of multiples because you can times the number by as big of a number as you want to give you a multiple. Now, moving on from multiples, we have lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple, LCM for short, is used for adding and subtracting fractions. How can we find the LCM? All we have to do is list as many multiples until we find the common ones. Let's have a look at example 1. Example 1 says what is the LCM of 4 and 5? The multiples of 4 and 5. We have 4 and 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 20, 25, 20, 25, and you can see the 4 and 5 both have the multiples of 20. Therefore, the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5 is going to be 20. Example 2 says, what is the LCM of 10 and 12? Now we have to again list the multiples of 10 and 12 until there's a common one. We can see that the common, lowest common multiple is going to be 60. So the LCM of 10 and 12 is 60. Now, now that we have learned how, um, HCF and LCM, how can we use it in functioning fractions? So, highest common factor is used to do simplify fractions, as I mentioned earlier. Let's have a look here. It says simplify 12 over 42. First, we need to find the HCF of the numerator, so the number on top, and the denominator, the number on the bottom. We can see the factors of 12 and 42 are listed there. And the highest common factor is going to be 6. Now that we have found the HCF, we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the HCF. We have 12 divided by 6, 
and 42 divided by 6. It'll give us a new fraction of 2 over 7. So the most simplified form of 12 over 42 is going to be 7 or 2 over 7. Now, how can we use lowest common multiple then? We said earlier that it's used for adding and subtracting fractions. We can see here there's an equation. 4 over 9 plus 1 over 3. What is that going to equate to? First, we need to find the LCM of the denominators. Once we have listed all the multiples of 3 and 9, we can see that the lowest common multiple is going to be 9. Second step is to find the factor pair of both for both. So 3 times 3 gives 9, 9 times 1 gives 9. So the factor pairs are going to be 3 with 3 and 9 with 1. Then we have to times the numerator and the denominator by its factor pair. We have 4 times 1, 9 times 1, which gives us the same fraction of 4 over 9. And we have 1 times 3, 3 times 3, gives us a new fraction of 3 over 9. Now we just have to add the numerators together. 4 plus 3 gives us 7. The denominator remains the same as we learned in the last video. So the answer for 4 over 9 plus 1 over 3 is going to give us 7 over 9. Sometimes it will give us results that require us to simplify. So if you can see a fraction that needs simplify, simplify if needed. And that is it for this video. Check out more English and Maths content by exploring our channel.